Hey everyone, I want to show you a project I've been working on for the past year. It's called Leo RPG. It's a Lego fan game. It's a multiplayer and single player game uh, where basically you can do pretty much anything you want. You can build with Lego, you can fight with weapons. Uh, I've included such a variety of weapons from swords to bows to, to uh, lightsabers, uh, long range sniper rifles. Or, automatic, semi-automatic rifles, uh, everything you can think of, uh, and bombs, RPGs, grenade launchers, you name it, there's even choppers and tanks. I've uh, worked on this for a year as I said, it's my first multiplayer 3D game and uh, it was quite, um, quite a big project to take on on my own but uh, I'm really pleased with the result. And right now I'm just playing a game mode called Curse Survival, it's um, where you basically go through 10 rounds of destroying skeletons that are attacking you. If you survive all the way through to the end and destroy the bosses at the end, um, you'll win the round and all the XP that comes with it, as well as studs. What inspired me to make this game was really the other LEGO games that are out there, especially LEGO Star Wars. Ever since I was a kid I used to play Lego Star Wars and I always thought wouldn't it be great if Lego Star Wars was a multiplayer game where you could uh, complete the levels with other, other players or you could fight with others. That kind of thing really stirred me on as I've grown up uh, to, to make something similar to Lego Star Wars. <clears throat> and also um, a game like Uncharted 3 was a great um, inspiration really, especially with the combat systems and the mechanisms that come with that. Um, greatly inspired by Uncharted, um, mostly with Lego Star Wars. Um, as, as I said, there were lightsabers, there's also blasters. There are game modes that are uh, focusing on the Star Wars theme. There's a game mode where you can fight with Imperials or with Rebels and you can also pick a fight with Darth Vader or Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, it depends which side you choose. But well, this is a, is a massive game here, uh, it's um, mostly multiplayer uh, orientated so you can play with other players competitively or cooperatively and on the technical side it uses a UDP uh, protocol system. I actually started the project uh, using a TCP protocol uh, and then I learnt the wiser option is UDP because TCP's system is more um, orientated on making sure the clients receive the data in the correct order and, and receive it at all. UDP is just, it receives and it sends whatever um, and it will travel through the computer networks to you. Sometimes the packets do get lost, sometimes they come in a, in the wrong order, but creating a game where it can still work with those flaws and um, cover over them without having to use TCP um, is the best way to make a game like this and definitely the way Leo RPG is going to work in the future. So the game is available to play right now, it's in the beta testing stage so there may be bugs, it will be uh, helpful to report those uh, to our community. But, but this uh, video is just a small preview of everything you can do in Leo RPG, it's, uh, it's really dense uh, just as it is right now and it, it's going to get bigger and better. Um, focusing on making more content, uh, making it more fun and um, really it is quite addicting, quite a lot of players have played it and have enjoyed it a lot and of course that's great feedback and will make me want to continue developing the game although it is my first LEGO um, fan game and probably my last as well because it's, it's basically everything I wanted to do in a nutshell here as you're watching a small part of what Leo RPG is and um, I've really achieved everything I wanted to achieve here, multiplayer, a competitive, cooperative. So I've been lucky enough to be able to develop this. I've also been able to um, uh, code sign it with Apple using the developer program so that anybody on the Mac can play it without having to change any security settings. Uh, and it, you know, Mac no longer labels it as a program that needs to be thrown in the trash bin, which is nice. Uh, and on Windows, it, it works perfectly as well. The game has a ranking system that's similar to Uncharted 3. Uh, there's no legacy or prestige system. 
is just ranked from 1 to 100 and it gets harder to get uh, to the higher levels when you uh, max rank at 100 well you, you've done that but the game is by no means complete it's just the kind of game that you can just log in and just play again and again and again and all the different kind of game modes that there are available there's medieval game modes as Star Wars like game modes there are vehicles in the game as well as I said there are tanks and there's choppers uh, helicopters there's a jeep there's motorbikes there's um, quad bikes there's cars a lot of stuff in the game already and there's a lot of maps the one you see right now is really a very basic map um, there are more complicated maps out there so I've had to model quite a lot of the Lego parts myself because they don't exist in the Lego world but a lot of them I've been able to use uh, from the Lego world and it's really been fun to create this game um, and I, I'd like to see what you guys think of it so play it as you wish and uh, any feedback is really appreciated so thank you